Hey everybody, welcome to Let's Play Dishonored. I'm uh, John Markley, and with me is... Nick Wynn. Thank you. Dishonored is a, uh, one of the, my should favorite... I should I have started the video? Dishonored was one of my uh, favorite games I played in 2013. I didn't actually, I didn't play it in 2012 because, honestly, I heard stealth game, and I generally don't think of myself as that being into stealth games, so I didn't really pay much attention to it. But then I got it on a Steam sale and ended up really liking it. So, Nick, now, Nick, have you played? I have, yeah. Okay, what did you think of it? I liked it a lot. Uh, First-person stealth usually doesn't work for me. I grew up on Splinter Cell and MGS. Uh, but I ended up liking how it worked. Never, I mean, it, it had a good balance between making you want to avoid confrontation and uh, still giving you the freedom to be a killing machine okay. if you played right. It now, rewarded. Did still. you pl uh, did you play it both ways or did you just play through once? Um, I I played it. I did play it twice, but I don't think I like got full chaos. Okay. I, first time I played through it, I got low chaos. I killed very few people. What, what, but what we're going to watch today is something rather different from that, as you'll soon <laughs> see. It's nice when I don't have to restrain my baser urges. That sounds, that, that sounds, that sounds kind of gross. But, all right. Here's the, here's the box thing. Published by Bethesda. Made by Arcane Studios. Who I believe did the old Arx Fatalis games? Oh, okay. Maybe I'm an idiot. I don't know. There's our there's our hero, Corvo. Well, I mean, in this playthrough, hero is kind of in finger quotes, but here's our title screen. Here we get good this. looking game. Yeah, so this you're running this. This is the PC version. This right? is the PC version, and okay. I'm I can run it on I can run it on high settings because YouTube only shows 30 frames a second. So if Mine is wobbling around. No one's gonna notice. <laughs> so I made it. So I decided to play it nice and extra pretty. There's a lot of, really a lot of options, which is nice. In terms of uh, interface, graphics. Yeah. So I actually see that there that you've uh, got button prompts instead of keys. Yes, I'm. I it's. I'm playing it with a uh, gamepad. Okay. And I was wondering, because what I ended up doing was going with the PC version, how um, how does it control? With the gamepad? Yeah. Oh, I had no complaints. Okay. It's got, it's got, a, it's got, a bit of, it's got some auto-aim. And actually, I believe you can choose like the degree of auto-aim you have if you're playing with a gamepad. Oh, that's nice. I don't, I don't usually like to play first-person games with a pad. Yeah. But I really do But well, my, my, my usual setup is I... It's kind of weird. I play with like a USB pad in one hand, and I just use like one of the sticks on that. And then I have the mouse in the other. It's kind of this weird. It's kind of weird looking, but it works pretty well because I, I, I'd rather aim with a mouse, but I cannot freaking stand moving with a keyboard. So, especially in a game like this where you really need more precise movements. Now here's more options. You can see the kill cam mode. I've got that to frequent because this is gonna be that kind of playthrough. Huh. Keyboard, keyboard, fully mappable, mouse settings, aim assist, auto aim strength. Just not as much customization with for gamepad controls as I would have liked, which is disappointing. I always like it when you can like fully remap those as well, and you don't get that very often, unfortunately. But the, the, the default schemes are pretty good, at least for me. Now, what system did you play this on? I played it on PC, and I okay. just had the uh, mouse and keyboard and okay. dealt with it like that. Um, yeah, yeah, as you can see, lots it, of nice, nice field of view, field, field of view, a lot of different options. Yeah. You, not, nice feature. You can individually turn off the shadows of rats. Cause there's a really? Lot, yes, you can, because there's a lot of rats in the game, and they're casting yeah. a lot of shadows. <laughs> so... You, potentially, you might have your computer might be such that for the most part, normally it can play, you know, high-level settings normally. But then when the rats show up, your frame rate just tanks. <laughs> so you have the option of of just selectively deleting their shadows. Well, that's also, nice. That's also, sub subtitle options you can switch between none, just the main dialogue, or all dialogue, including incidental dialogue. And I like to have all of it on. I like to have all of it on. 
Does that include, like, sound effects, like grunts and stuff? No, I don't think so. No, it's okay. just... But, like, if you hear... If two guys are just chatting in a room nearby, then... Interesting. Because I'd, I'd normally like the um, subtitles. It's just when it, like, does stuff, like, when I'm in combat and they go, oh, and then there's, a, like, a little, uh <laughs> subtitle that pops up. It All right, really now our difficulty me. settings. I, I, I beat it on normal first time, but... There, there's our hero, Corvo Atano. You don't see him all... Well, you don't see him much at all in this game because it's first person, but that's him without his mask. Hmm. Our enemies inflict more damage and they see you more easily. And here, we go, we're going for full Doctor Doom mode here. Hard. Enemies enemies see better, they hurt, hurt you harder, and your potions are less effective. Hmm. And brightness. Thrill as I adjust the light level. <laughs> and so we and begin. It, the adventure begins. You have just returned from a journey of several months, visiting the other nations in the Empire to ask for aid in dealing with the Rat Plague. You must deliver their diplomatic response to the Empress, whom you serve as Lord Protector. That's our backstory. I always appreciate like um, there was else high games like this. It's... Oh, yeah, the, the lady's talking to. Yeah. Sorry. And the spy master is right to insist that I send you. The plague has taken so many, and we must find a cure. When you are near, my heart is at peace. That is the Empress Jessamine Caldwin the First. Hurry home. Sorry. And bring good news. And who, as I said, you serve as the Lord Protector. Her voice is done by, um... Who was that? April Stewart, who... Steady hand. That's it. Watch it. Who you may know mostly as... She does a lot of female voices on uh, South Park, actually. Oh, my God, yeah. She's like Mrs. Marsh, Mrs. Cartman. Since uh, 2004, I, I be- actually, I believe the woman who originally did most of the voices, female voice on that show, she died. I, I believe she took her own life, actually. It's, I don't know why, but... Oh, my God. Yeah, and since 2004, she's done a lot of those voices. Um, uh, she's also... Um, oh, that, that bee noise you heard, that is... Uh, occasionally, I took some screenshots, and it I didn't... I forgot to turn that little noise off, and the recorder picked it up. So that's what that is. That's... That's the sort of technical wizardry I bring to the Let's Play game. Now, as you can, now as you can see, the technology and d- the d- technology in Dunwall is sort of, I don't, steampunk. yeah, sort of steampunk, kind of like medieval, uh, like entering into a steampunk type industrial revolution, all powered by this whale oil. Mm-hmm. Except it's not whale oil as we know it, because it's blue and. The whales in this are, and it has, like, magical properties. Mm. She was also Aphrodite in uh, God of War 3, and uh, Silveria in the Valkyria Chronicles. Oh, okay. Not that anybody's going to see it, but I think I've settled on streaming Valkyria Chronicles. No. So, we'll see. You can you can climb you can sort of boost yourself up onto most objects to get higher. So do you know what is this running on Unreal? Yes, it is. Okay. Dunwall Tower. Here is Princess Emily, daughter of the Empress, and spoiler alert, possibly you. It's. <laughs> Well, it's strongly implied that she's your daughter. It's never made cle- ex- specific. Yeah. All right, now you, she asks you to like hide and seek with her, which is basically like kind of the, the hiding tutorial, more or less. Can you hide from this shitty little girl? Now that is voice of Chloe Grace Moretz, who was uh, Rava in The Legend of Korra, and Death in Deadpool. Recent game. Oh yeah, yeah. Wow. 
the range of these voice actresses is pretty impressive. Let's see if you're still good at this. I'll hide my eyes and count, and at the end of the countdown, I'll try and find you. Okay, I'm going to count to ten. Find me for five. Yeah, so this is basically just the the hiding tutorial. I see. It's she. It's not terribly difficult to outwit her, luckily. So I never actually tried getting caught by her. I don't know if she dresses you down or she tells you you're shit, <laughs> shit lord. <laughs> <laughs> she just sounds the alarm for no for some reason the guards come kill you. <laughs> now as you can see you can you can you can lean back and forth. Okay. Which is handy. Peek around. You can peek around corners. And as long as your like your body is behind stuff like you can poke your head out and you it, they won't detect you. You know she she is she gives up awfully easily. That's not a good trick. I know. No. I, li I really like the design of this uh, castle. Yeah. The whole game has a great visual style to it that I really like. like Thematically. I like that... Oh, go ahead. I like that it's not, like, hyper-realistic. Hmm. What? Thematically, it works well. There's a lot of white going on. There we see um, High Overseer Campbell, who's sort of the head of the state church, and that is Dr. Sokoloff, who's a scientist slash painter he comes from the Isle of Tivia which is basically steampunk Russia Yar avast I be a pirate scientist from Russia it was a fool yeah, he comes from He's the head of the Abbey of the Everyman, which is the main religion of the Empire. Oh, please don't. Yes, you just drank it. <laughs> I believe this painting appears later. I believe that if you do that, that will not that will be gone in the final painting. Yes. I I've read that. I'm not sure. Well, we'll have to see. There's Jeff Kernow. We'll see him again. So what is what was that on his hand? Is it like a wrist pistol thing? We've gone beyond that question, your majesty. Where's the Empress? They're my citizens. And we will save them from the plague if we can. I can't stop hearing Stan's mom. Very well. Thanks. I believe she's Cartman's mom also. Mother, yeah, she is. Thank you, woman. Leave us, please. That is Lord Hiram Burroughs, the royal spy master. Will be seen here. Are there any spy masters that don't end up being like douchebags? I would guess not. Well, it's not like it's not a job you'd hire a nice guy for, really. No, I suppose not. It's a fair wind that brings you home to me. What news have you brought? You Not one for words, Corvo. You may already be a winner. <laughs> Nigeria requests your aid. <laughs> Send back your bank account. Yeah, Corvo is a silent protagonist, aside from a few dialogue choices. Cowards. They're going to blockade us. They'll wait to see if the plague turns the city into a graveyard. This Corvo is really uninterested in what the Empress has to say. Just look around. Mother is fine. Wait, where are the guards? Who sent them away? Uh oh. Mother, look. What are they doing on the rooftop? What? Emily, come here. Uh oh. This isn't good. Ow. As you may have noticed I'm not great at this game. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm I can beat it I mean I can beat it on very very hard, but not very not gracefully. Uh, the threat is gone now, and now we're safe. Where are we? Never. No. 
Now you can see these guys have some pretty crazy powers. Backhand. Oh. Uh. That poor kid. Oh, that guy, we'll be seeing him again soon. Su well, Sunday, too. Man, Corvo's got some mad upper body strength. He pulled himself over in one... one pull. Protect her. The only one who will know what to do. Won't you? Corvo. There is. Just, he just popped into an existence, that guard. This is not what it looks like, guys. Come on. Uh-oh. What did you do with young lady Emily, traitor? Her own bodyguard. Ironic. I'll see you beheaded for this, Corvo. This is one of those instances where being silent really doesn't help him. And our story that's how our story begins.